Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and today I want to talk to you guys about a pretty cool feature in Call of Duty Infinite Warfare called Mission Teams. Now, a lot of guys might not have heard about this because it's uh, something that's kind of been kept under uh, under the table, so to say. And I also haven't seen a lot of YouTubers make videos on this, and I asked all my friends if they heard of Mission Teams, and they had no idea what I was talking about. So, uh, again, I decided to make a video on this for you guys, but uh, I'm assuming that when you first log into Infinite Warfare, you're going to get asked to join one of these four Mission Teams. You guys are going to see them on screen right now, and they are the JTF Wolverines, the Orion Initiatives, Team Saber 7, and then we have the Wraiths here. So, each one of these teams have their own personality. For example, the Orions, they mainly focus on objective gameplay, and the JTF Wolverines mainly focus on getting kills and slaying, uh, slaying enemy players. But, based off your team's personality, you're going to get a certain mission. So, say for example, you're playing as the Orions. Remember, they're the ones that like to play the objective. One of the missions you might get are capture X amount of flags in domination, or get a certain amount of drone caps in uplink. And by completing these missions, you will in return increase your rank for that team and then uh, by ranking up your team you're going to get exclusive calling cards camos custom rig outfits and even prototype weapons now these prototype weapons can only be obtained by ranking up your team through these uh through, through the mission team so uh yeah that's the only way you can get these guns and uh, the, you can't get them in supply drops there's no other possible way to get these prototype weapons so to kind of give you guys a good comparison of these mission teams think of it as like pokemon go teams but you can uh, change your teams anytime you want and you can also switch out any mission that you don't like so say for example you're playing as uh, as the orions again and one of the objectives you have is complete three games of domination but you don't like to play domination then you can change that mission out for another one like say maybe get three headshots for example and yeah that's a brief summary of the mission teams in call of duty infinite warfare now there still are a lot of questions that i have about this and hopefully everything will be answered within these couple of months here but to be honest with you guys i'm actually a really big fan of these mission teams i think they're a great addition to the game because it really does give players a good reason to get on and play the game and that was really something that i've kind of wanted in call of duty because uh, i kind of think it's just boring to get on and play the game for for a couple games without any reward uh, besides like camo challenges and stuff like that you know i'm not really a big fan of camo challenges I don't really go for them whenever uh, any Call of Duty game is released. I'd never gone for Dark Matter. I get a lot of questions about that in my comments. And even people that ask me too when I play online. Uh, everyone's like, do you have Dark Matter? And I always tell them no because I don't really uh, like camos in the game. I, I really don't think camos uh, mean anything for me personally. But I don't know. Other people may feel a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, with these mission teams, it kind of gives you an incentive and motivation to get on and play. So uh, maybe you can uh, have you and your friends play together and try to rank up your mission team to get one of the new weapons or custom camos or calling cards or rig customization features whatever it is you guys want to do I think it's going to bring a lot more players uh, closer together too and it's going to make players have uh, be a lot more friendly in lobbies too I think that's a great idea as well um, but one concern that I do have is uh, what if everybody in the game wants to join a certain team so maybe like the Wraiths or the Wolverines whatever it may be kind of like in Pokemon Go where everybody joined like one select team that's kind of my biggest concern that I have for these uh, mission teams but I don't know let me guys think about this down in the comments guys also let me know what team out of these for you are thinking about joining guys also drop a like if y'all did enjoy thank you for watching i'm averts have a great rest of the day till next time i'll catch you guys later